Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, a while back, I posted an EDC video. It, it's not my, uh, my, my new one that's up. It's, it's from about a year ago, around 2013. Um, and in that video, I showed, you know, some of my items that I carried. And one of those items was a fountain pen. And I believe it was my Esterbrook uh, J, uh, J bar uh, from the 1960s or 1950s. Very nice pen. I still carry that. Um, but in that video, I asked you guys if you were interested on fountain pens. And a couple of you guys replied. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing a video on today is a fountain pen uh, per request. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you learned something. Uh, what you see in front of you right now are two uh, fountain pens from Schaefer. Now these are the uh, school uh, models or also some people call them the student models. Very, very nice, inexpensive uh, fountain pens for the time uh, that they released. Um, these came out around the 60s to late 70s. Um, and then I'm not sure if they make any, any more of them today. But let me tell you, uh, if you can find these, do yourself a favor and grab them because they are just an awesome... Um, in, in most cases, an inexpensive fountain pen, even though even though they're a vintage fountain pen. I bought uh, two of these green ones about a week ago, and they cost me $4 a piece. And then I bought this, uh, this blue one uh, for, I want to say it was about 7 to $8. So it just depends on where you find them um, and where you go. I mean... You know, they, they range anywhere from 4 to 12 bucks. Even online on eBay you can find these guys. So yeah, if you could find them, pick them up. They're definitely worth it. But um, yeah, I got two of these the other day, which are a fine uh, nib, and I got this one, which is a medium nib. Um, now if you guys write with a regular uh, pen, um, most of these ballpoint pens are going to be like a fine uh, you know, fine point pen. Uh, I bought both of these as fine nibs. And what a nib is, whoops, what a nib is, that silver end, or that silver piece on the end right there is called a nib. And right underneath the nib there is what's known as a feed. And what that does is in these fountain pens, uh, the students have a uh, cartridge. And some of them have uh, cartridges you can use, which are, you know, standard across the board. Um, or you have a what's called a cartridge converter. So you can use different inks and uh, basically personalize your writing. They have, you know, anywhere between, I don't know, thousands hundreds of thousands of different inks out there you can choose from. Um, but anyway, I have these uh, Schaefer cartridges that were originally made for uh, this pen. And since then, Schaefer has made a bunch of different uh, pens that use this cartridge and the standard cartridge, international cartridge. So uh, what, this, uh, what a feed does is there's a little... Um, a metal plastic piece that you puncture into this uh, cartridge and what it does is it feeds ink from the cartridge down into that stem and uh, into the feed and the feed works by capillary action so uh, hmm, let's see the best way I can describe that is um, it's got slits in here and what, what that does is uh, pulls air into the pen and it just soaks up and uh, brings it by capillary action onto the, uh, the feed and then that gets soaked onto the nib, runs down this slot here onto the very fine uh, tip. And that's what makes you write. That's what allows you to write. So... Let me give you a couple writing demos with these two pens. They're pretty nice. 
Now, as I've been uh, sitting here writing, I'm also enjoying uh, a nice glass of uh, Talamore Dew Irish whiskey. Yeah, uh, I'm not using a correct glass, but I just moved into this place, and I misplaced my uh, my uh, whiskey glasses. So anyway, um, very, very nice pen here. As you can see, very, very uh, thin lines. What's nice about these Schaefer student pens is that they flex. So you can get variation in your line. Uh, with the standard ballpoint pen, let me show you first here. You know, they, they, you can press or you can go as light as you want but you're not going to get any variation. <clears throat> With a fountain pen, you go light, and then you can press really hard, but not too hard, you don't want to break the nib. You can get different line variation. And then so when you do flourishes, oh, I broke it there, hold on one second. So when you do flourishes, yeah, looks like this isn't really wanting to keep up. There we go. I gotta clean this pen out some more. Get it flushed out. No, oh, sorry guys. Let me switch over to this medium one real quick here. So when you go light, you're gonna get the standard nib. Um, no variation. And then when you uh, press harder, it'll flex out and make the line wider. So you can see how wide that is. So I'm going to go light and then wide. Now the finer pens will show up the detail um, in the line variations a lot better. Let's see if uh, this will work. Eh, don't look like it's working. Hold on one second. Let me unscrew this here. And just get some uh, get some ink flowing there. Like I said, i got to flush this out. This one was sitting in a display case for a while with dried up ink in it. So... All right, let's try this again. I am so sorry about this, guys. Shot this video a couple times, too. <laughs> there we go. Should be nice and inked now. But yeah, um, a nice thing about fountain pens is that, you know you can pass them down. So if you have, you know, kids or um, anybody in the family that you'd like to pass your pen down, you can do that. So that's really, really cool. With your big, with your big pens, you can't really do that uh, with your, you know, with your standard pens. So there we go. We got some uh, lines going there. So, let's see, nice variation there in that line. Definitely see the uh, differences in line variation there. It makes you able to, you know, just add some flair to your writing if you want. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, these Schaefer uh, vintage pens are very, very nice um, if you can find them. Uh, around my area, they're they're pretty rare. I don't know um, how available these are in other parts of this uh, country, but uh, definitely an awesome, awesome find. And like I said, you know, you can pass these down to you know your kids or future gener future generations. Just an heirloom piece. So yeah. 
If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys want me to do more fountain pen videos, let me know. Uh, thank you for uh, all the comments and the, and the views. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to ask. There's a comment section down there. Um, and just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching again and subscribing. I'll have more videos up soon. I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night, guys.